Live stream. Do 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 We could, like, do one in a few weeks. Okay. So, there were a lot of questions that were asked. I'm going to try to get to a lot of them. I'm going to kind of go in an order that they were asked. I'm not going to get to everything. I apologize for that. I'm going to do my best to answer as many as I can. I'm going to go as fast as pretty much possible. Here we go. So, Phoenix Cuba asks, how did you set up your rouge way? Mine's all wonky and pops a lot. If it's popping, it's probably too loose. And a lot of people have said to tighten it a little bit more than you would other 4x4s because it still works really well and actually that controllability makes it really nice. Would the Yan 3 ever be your main? So I don't really say that I have mains too often. I could use it at a competition. It's a nice puzzle. Reminds me of the Mei Ying a lot. How long have you been cubing for? So I've been cubing for almost three years now. It'll be three years I believe in March. Why do you think doing YouTube for free stuff is wrong? Now I've never said straight up that it's wrong. But I feel like if you're going to make YouTube videos, make it for yourself. Make it because you enjoy it. If your goal is to just get free stuff, then I think you're doing it for the wrong reason. Enjoy what you do and make YouTube channels because it's fun. Um, yeah. Can you one-handed pyraminx? Solved. How are you able to make videos in such short times? Aren't you busy working or something? <laughs> yeah. But I don't have school anymore, so that's a big thing. Summer is actually a lot harder for me because I work a lot more during the summers, so you'll see less videos probably around then than you do right now. What's the difference between a Gan 3 and Valk 3? Because I want to know because I want to buy a cube that's stickerless and a good cube. They're both good. The Yan is a little bit more airy. There's more space between the pieces. Uh, Valk is a little bit smaller and a little bit tighter feeling. Also, it has to probably do with the conical springs that are in it. How many cubes do you have in total? I have a mega comparison, which I'll link in the description. You can count them if you wish. There's more than 300. Would you ever do a live stream of solving all your puzzles? That'd be boring. I'm gonna skip this first one because it's gonna answer it later on. Why did you decide to make a YouTube channel? I wasn't planning on it and I told other people I wasn't planning on doing it, but I kind of just evolved. I made a few videos to help build the website and then I made a few spotlight reviews and then it just kept growing and growing. So I, it turned into where the channel ended up overtaking the website for me. Is it worth it to buy puzzles from Oscar? Yeah, he's done a lot of good work. What's your favorite speed cuber? You. What was your first speed cube? Now, after I bought my General Rubik's brand, I had the Aurora and the Feng Shui Shuang Ren Mini that I bought at the same time. Um, I used the Aurora a lot more because it was a bit more controllable. So those are my first two. Will you consider doing a sticker mod or buy one? This is my first sticker mod. Now, I didn't make the arrows, but I bought this from Cubesmith while they were still in business. Why do you pick up that kind of job? Because I enjoy it. I decided to work in a job that I like to do, and it surprisingly works. I can make a living with it. So am I giving away this cube? Because I don't need it. I'm trying not to really build a collection. I don't need to build a collection. So if there's anything extra, I usually give them away. Other ones I have to keep, because in case I need to do comparisons in the future, I usually try to have one of each, maybe two if there's a difference between them. What does my wife think about my cubing life? Hey, April. Yeah? What do you think about my cubing life? I love you. What's my favorite three by three of all time? Probably the mini owl lung, just because I've used it for a long time and it's it's fun. It to me it feels a little bit different than other things that are out there. I just it's really controllable and tiny. What's my greatest memory as a cuber in terms of competition or collection? I actually don't know. There's nothing that really stands out. Maybe the first time I remember solving blind, it was I really didn't think I was ready to do a whole cube blindfolded, and the first attempt I did, it worked. So that might be it. I can I can memorize, I can see that. I'm gonna do a comparison between all the GANs Air, Normal, Ultimate, UM. The Normal and the Ultimate, I already have a comparison. I'll link that in the description. The Magnetic one, I probably won't do a comparison because it's an Ultimate with magnets put into it. But there'll probably be a video just going over the Magnetic one in general. So basically this question is asking if putting magnets in will reduce catching. Not really, maybe. 
Uh, the magnets aren't really going to do anything with catching. Remember, catching has to do more with the cuber than the cube itself. Putting magnets in might make it a little more controllable, it might make it feel a little bit slower, and having something that's slower, more controllable, might make your solves be a little more accurate. But remember, it's more the, the cuber and not the cube that it causes catching and lockups. How big do I see myself getting as a cuber on YouTube? I have no goals as far as how many subscribers to get. Obviously, seeing some other cubers, it can grow pretty large, but I have no aspirations with that. We will see what happens. Have I tried the Magnetic 356? I should have it any day now. It's coming from GAN store right in China, so at some point it should be in and I'll do an unboxing. Um, maybe I'll do a review after that if the unboxing doesn't go through most of that, or I'll just sort of do a combined unboxing review in one thing. Do I still enjoy the Mini Along? I do. I still use it. I have not made a Magnetic one. I am debating it. Um, I don't see it really doing too much, but maybe, um, it might be fun. Why did I decide to start the website? Now the website I started because I had a violinstringreview.com website all about violin strings. And I built that site because I didn't feel like there was a website that existed on violin string. Same sort of thing. I didn't feel like there was a website that just existed to review cubes. There were, of course, shops, there were forums, but there wasn't just a website with cube reviews, especially with ones where public can can chime in. So I basically just copied the whole format of the one site, put it on the other one, and started that. And it was just something that I felt was necessary, something that's professional looking, hopefully, out there. Do you like trying new things, like yo-yo tricks, stacking cups? I used to do a yo-yo when I was younger. Um, I think I tried stacking cups once, and then I was didn't enjoy it. But I don't see anything else really picking up right now that's in that similar realm besides just different types of cubes. How old are you? I turned six right before Bill Clinton was elected president. As far as starting a musical instrument, I don't think it's ever too late to start one. Same thing with cubing. If you want to do it, pick it up. I have students um, who range from like five years of age to over 70 with teaching. It's never too late to pick it up. As far as mental strength, that's something you can always just practice and build up. Definitely 3 by 3 solving can be innovated more. Um, we've kind of, I feel like, gone through a lot of the basic ideas. There's maybe a few different tricks we can find, new algorithms, new um, subsets, just there's always stuff to do. These are my kids. How much have I spent on cubing? I have no idea. Um, I could probably check my taxes because since this is a business, I can, can I have to claim all that stuff. But one thing, I do purchase a lot of my puzzles, and this goes for a couple other questions that people have asked. So some of them, yeah, Chi and Mo, you have been sending me things lately. Basically, long story short, Cameron from Speed Cube Shop. You know, he advertises on the website and there's some um, reversion stuff that goes on through different links. And through that, I'll often have some credit I can use. But I don't just get free stuff sent to me constantly. That's not really how this works. In a way, I'm buying most of the puzzles that I'm using. There is MCC beta I just signed up for. It's I'm only going to be there Sunday because I'm DJing a wedding on Saturday night. So I'll basically be up until 1.30, 2 in the morning and then going into competing. We'll see how that works. What's my favorite mod I've ever done? I've only really done one mod. Half truncated cube. This was a lot of fun to do. I was, I'm working on another one and then I just put it away and stopped working on it. But hopefully I'll finish that at some point. How many solves do I do per day besides competition preparation period? Depends how free I am. I usually do a few just every day, just picking it up, solving it. Um, whenever I have breaks and teaching other things, I'll solve more. I don't have a set practice schedule that I do. It's just have fun. How much time did it take me to learn speed cubing? Well, I guess if you're counting from when I was born to when I started to learn that long. What's my opinion on magnetic cubes? I like the feel of them. I have a magnetic 4x4, and a magnetic 2x2, and a magnetic 3x3. They're fun to use. Some people don't like them. Um, some people feel like the clickiness or the, um, the feel of the magnet slows them down, or they just don't enjoy the feeling of it. I don't think they're, you know, insanely better or anything, but both Matt's and Felix have the two fastest world records, and they both were with magnetic cubes. So there's that. How much time did it take to solve my first cube? I don't know that exact time because I'm following instructions, but by the second day, I was averaging about five minutes. Do I still use my 16 mayings? I don't solve them too much anymore. So what they're talking about are my 16 mayying force cubes. So there's 16 different colors. This one's pink, this one's red. I don't solve them too much anymore. Um, they're still fun to solve. I'll do it once in a while. I was planning on doing a comparison video of solving all of them um, and checking the times. And then I just got lazy and didn't do it. I'll put that link in the description below for that video. As far as video and audio quality, which is more important, they're both important, but 
make videos you want to make. Do what you want. I mean, if you watch a video that you've made and you don't like it, you know, figure out why you don't like it. I've scrapped many videos. There was one video that took me hours to edit. I had like this big thing. It was going over subsets and I then redid the whole video because I didn't like it. And then I watched it again and I still didn't like it. And I just deleted the whole thing because I did not like it. What instruments do I play? Now in the last uh, q and I played a few of them, so you can check that out, I'll link that in the description. Because I have a degree in music education, I had to learn how to play violin, viola, cello, bass, um, all the band instruments, so like clarinet, saxophone, flute, oboe, bassoon, trombone, trumpet, euphonium, tuba, sousaphone, percussion, um, keyboard, did some African, African hand drumming, um, guitar, all these different things. And as far as playing them, I could play them and I could probably teach some basic things, but I'm not going, going to be doing like a sousaphone performance anytime soon. Can your parents solve cubes? Yeah, so I have a question. I'm doing a question answer for the channel and someone asked if you can solve a Rubik's cube. For me? Yeah. No. Okay. How long after F2L should you try to learn OLL and PLL? Well, I don't think you're ever done learning F2L and OLL and PLL are just fun algorithms to learn. I don't feel like you should do one and then the other either. Just you know, learning some of the ones for four look last layer. There's a lot of OLLs that are really similar and really easy. Um, there's some PLLs that are really nice. So when you're learning them, just kind of, if you get sick of doing one, look at some other ones. I have on my website um, the OLL full page, and then also ones that are grouped. So there's about half of the OLLs that are just grouped together that are really similar. Do I think big cubes should have magnets? What motivates you to still make videos? I enjoy making videos. How good do you think cubes are gonna get? there's gonna be always things that get better with them. When the Zanchi came out, everyone was like, I don't think they could ever get better than this. And then something like the um, Aulong came out and people were like, I don't think they can get any better than this, except maybe not corner twisting. So people are always saying that. The problem is right now we're facing this issue that we have, they're really flexible, so we can get this great corner cutting. But because they're so flexible, they also can lock up more if you're, if you're rough at turning. And so magnets have helped with that. But then there's the issue that some people don't like that magnetic feel, or there's still the issue that they still are flexible. So there's there's always going to be stuff to do to fine tune them. And there's always, you know, things that could be made better, different plastics, even um, different springs. I have a few ideas I've been mulling around of like, other things we could add to them. I don't know if it'd make it better, but just different things. Some tips on being sub 30. I'm going to put a link in the description to a playlist that is called Feeling Stuck, that is a handful of videos on different tips and tricks. It might be some things that you already know, but there might be some things that are new to you. What is the most sold cube? I don't know. I'm gonna have to phone a friend for this one. Hey, so I'm doing the question and answer and I've got a question for you. Sure. What is the most sold cube? Like of it's all like time? Really close. Like not right now, but of all time. Of all time, I probably have to say maybe Alpha Five. That was really hot when that came out. <laughs> I have actually never used that. But then there, but then there are like considerations. Like you know, the Cuban community has grown since mm -hmm. then. So like naturally, if the community was as big as it was back when Alpha Five was out, chances are it would have sold like kind of like how it began there or the Vault 3 R today, you know what I mean? True. Um, I have one other question though, also. Yeah. Am I Speed Cube Shop or are you Speed Cube Shop? Well, I mean, we can kind of share it because I mean, it's, kind of, it's kind of meant to be, I guess, we work together because I mean, our names kind of just work so well together. So, I mean, I guess I can be Speed Cube Shop and you could be just Speed Cube Review with a shop sometimes. That's, I, I don't want to sell stuff though. That's, that seems like, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, you can just come down and hang out and do all the cool stuff. That works. We'll handle all the dirty work. Sounds good. All right, thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. Who's your favorite composer in the Baroque era? Jean-Baptiste Lully, mainly because the way he died. Check that out. Jean-Baptiste Lully. It's, it's silly. Why don't you do more tutorials on all the cubes you have? A lot of them um, I am going to do in the future. I've ordered some new puzzles. A lot of them just haven't had time to make, um, but and a lot of them, like like square one, I'm not that experienced with it, and I don't want to do a tutorial that I don't know much about. 
So that's another thing. I want to make sure that I know what I'm talking about before I do it. Is the performance difference between stickered and stickerless puzzles? No-ish. Um, I have done a lot of tests. I've done, I've got stickerless cubes and black cubes and white cubes and primary cubes. And no, they feel, once you set them up, they feel pretty much the exact same. I did a test between four different Mayings, and I'll link that in the description. And pretty much they felt the exact same. So now out of the box they didn't, but after setting them up, they did. Now back in the day, something like a Zanchi, there was two different plastics that were used between the stickless one and their stickered one. And that people said there was a big difference. But nowadays it's such a small difference if there is by the amount of dye and how that's used in the plastics, I really don't think there's a single difference you could really tell. And if you're setting it up, if you're lubing it, tensioning it, no, they're going to be pretty much the exact same. What's your favorite animal? A three-toed sloth. It's adorable. What's your favorite color scheme? Fluorescent yellow, green, and orange with light red and light blue. Will they make a three-style blind tutorial? Yes, but Turbo's coming first. This question's about being judged at competitions for averaging sub-30. No, you're, I mean, there's a judge there, literally, you're, you're being, there's a judge there. But the last competition, there was a, a good amount of people who were over a minute. And everyone's going there for enjoyment for themselves. There's people with such a wide range of times that you're really going there for the community feel of it. The last competition I went to, um, someone came up to me, uh, a parent, they said, so who do you think is going to win? And I had to pause for a second because I realized no one thinks about who's going to, to win. I mean, maybe those who are averaging seven seconds, six seconds are, are thinking about that. But nope, I don't. I don't know. We're, just go. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Could I do more content with Rue? Probably not. Um, I really enjoy solving with Rue, but I don't do it very often. Uh, Critical Cubing has been doing a lot of Rue stuff, so if you're interested in that, check out his channel. He's put a lot of stuff on there for that. How to start blind if you intend to get fast on it? Just start it. I suggest still starting with Old Pacman. Um, a lot of people suggest going to M2 right away for edges, but Old Pacman's a little bit easier, and you're not going to like slow yourself down by switching to M2 later, because it's just it's a really easy transition of what you're doing. Um, of course, a lot of the top solvers use more advanced um, commutators to solve. The biggest thing for getting fast is practicing memorization. Being able to memorize within, um, you know, 10, 15 seconds instead of spending, you know, minutes trying to memorize. So it doesn't really matter so much right away what you do to solve it, but just practicing getting that memorization in. Are you going to do a collaboration with other YouTubers? Hmm, that's a good idea. Let's see what Just Keep Cubing's up to. Uh, no. A contact Derpy Cuber. We did some stuff together before. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm really busy. I would really, I'm so sorry. I would love to do it another time. Maybe later. Tips for remembering the algorithms more easily. It's a lot of it getting into your muscle memory. So doing things repetition over and over again. Don't worry about solves. If you're learning how to do a T permutation, just constantly do a T permutation over and over. Because when you do one T permutation, it's going to give you a result of a PLL where you do a T permutation again to bring it back. Uh, same thing with a lot of OLLs. Um, and a lot of them, I feel like when you can learn how they're similar, you can just execute those. When am I going to do the month of a method again? I want to do it soon, but yeah, I've actually gotten a little bit busy with that. I did the first two, the Rue and uh, ZZ, and then I did FMC. I planned to do Heist, but FMC seemed a little bit more just all around general stuff to work on. I plan on doing one, but it might it might be a little bit longer. Um, of course, I'm going to do Petrus at some point. That's one that a lot of people have been asking about. I'm also going to wait a little bit just because there's a competition coming up and I want to keep working on some 3x3 stuff and get more confident with that because the last one I wasn't too happy with a lot of my solves. April, I've been married for a couple years, but we've been together for about 10 years. What are my opinions on Maru bottle flipping? Are you going to learn new methods like ZZ and Rue? The... Check the videos in the channel. How do I put together 4x4 without having too much difficulty? <laughs> you don't. It's just difficult. Uh, heavy lube or clean the pieces, use some tape. Some cubes like the Mayu had actually these little nice things to put a few pieces in, which made it much easier to put together. What are the best magnets? I'm going to make a video actually on picking magnets for your puzzles. So stay tuned for that. 
What method do you prefer in 5x5? Five five? Yeah or free slice? Hoya. Can you do a pure mix comparison? Already did. What video editor do you use? I used to use iMovie, but now I use Final Cut Pro, mainly because iMovie started glitching, and I finally just paid the price for Final Cut. Do I plan to make more pixel art? Yes. I already have music. I've arranged it like a year ago, and I know what the designs are going to be. I just haven't made the designs, but also I just haven't taken the time to to make it. So I have something in mind, and yes, it's going to happen. Why did you decide to pick up the viola despite the classic viola jokes? Because it sounds awesome. Listen to this sound. That's so cool! Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Sometimes I do feel like I'm floating through the wind wanting to start again. Okay, so we're running out of time. I'm gonna try to make these really short. If your wall lung's popping, it's set way too loose and you're turning way too inaccurately. Magnets, I like them. GF springs are awesome way to make it easy to change springs and try in different tensions. Have I ever won a giveaway? Yes, I won a big stuffed dog from Pet Supplies Plus about 20 some years ago. Orientation of pieces happens the way you set them up, so you don't need to move the pieces and then orient them, they orient when you do it. If you have questions, check out the video that I have in the description for all the blind tutorials. If you have questions in there, let me know. If I'm doing unboxings, usually it's just my phone. But for this kind of video, I'm using a Vixia G20. Is it worth learning an advanced FMC method? On any advanced method, like advanced cross, advanced F2L, advanced FMC, advanced is not a method. When people talk about that, they're talking about tips and tricks or more algorithms or different techniques to use. So is it worth it if you want to be efficient with FMC? Yeah, definitely. It's kind of like, is it worth it to, to do extra, you know, tricks for the cross to reduce your moves? Yes. All the, the things about being advanced is about efficiency. Now, it depends also on why you want to do these things. If you have, if you enjoy doing them, yes, it's worth it. If you feel like it's a chore and you don't like it, then no, it's not worth it. What question I hate getting the most? What I really don't like is when people ask what the best cube is, what my mains are, what I would prefer one over the other, because really, you know, there is no best cube ever. When you ask me what I, you know, what I think is better, the GAN or a Valk or a GTS or a YAN or any of those, they all can be used to get pretty much the exact same times. And so that's why I never really answer specifically what the best is. But every so often I'll just change my cube up and use that for a while. And although the first day is usually a little bit rocky, after that my times are the exact same. Sometimes my times are better because after changing the cube up, it's a different feeling and I'm focusing a little bit more. The big thing is just understanding the feeling of it. And when people ask which one to get, my question is always, what don't you like about your current puzzle? If you have something, let's say like a thunderclap, and you're asking if you should get a GTS or a Yuxiao or a Gan Air, why don't you like your Thunderclap? Because that's going to be the big difference. If you feel like it's too small or too big or too light or too scratchy or too smooth, that's going to be the big factor there. So let's find out what the winning question is. So the winning question is, why and when did you start cubing? And I started cubing during the 40th anniversary when there was the Google Doodle, and that was pretty much why. I looked at it and said, I'm finally gonna figure that thing out. And yeah, that's where I am now, I figured it out. So thank you very much, hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you very much to all the YouTubers who helped make this possible. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews. You knew that. Yeah. <laughs> But I wanted them to be able to hear it straight from you. Uh, busy creating 3x3 three three ZBLL algs. That's... Sorry. Um, more people wanted to... I can't. Hold on, do that again. That was too much. I was doing I know, I know. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, you guys. It's okay, we've got an outtake now.